Okay, um, should be a couple of subjects here, but maybe it won't be all drama, but we'll see. Um, just to clean up things, um, yeah, the letter has been sent. It's about 2 o'clock it was sent. Uh, the problem is, you know, YouTube's got this great system, you know, it's this, you know, whatever, very big company. And, uh, yeah, they give you 350 characters to express your concern about it a term of service violation 350 characters I mean it's you know the comments you're allowed more characters than that it's just kind of a little bit frightening uh, so anyway I did send an email to the editor at address because what else I don't know what you're supposed to do I mean you know you can't contact the company I mean yeah, it's kind of nutty so uh, it doesn't instill much confidence when you know you can't even send them a formal letter you know electronically you know, that's not a good sign. Um, so anyway, so it's, it's off and running. Um, so I guess the clock is ticking. Um, so I might as well comment on hard drive's last video, or I don't know whether it was two of them or whatever there was. Um, and, and so he wants to help me. See, he wants to explain to me how I can get my information offline. And this is just an idiotic argument. It's like saying, oh, look, I can guarantee, if you have children, I can guarantee they're not gonna get molested or harmed. You know, what you do is you, you build a cement bunker in your basement, you see, and you have four foot walls on it, you know, and a steel door and, uh, you know, a combination lock. And, you know, what the hell, it's not my responsibility to, uh, you, know, that, you know, in this society, you know, what we do we prosecute the people who break the law? You see, we don't lock everybody up. We don't tell everybody they can't drive their car because they're speeders on the highway, or drunk drivers. No, what we do is we punish the drunk drivers. And so if some asshole gets on YouTube and has a real reckless mouth and just yammers and yammers and says bullshit after bullshit, and then he's, you know, yeah, you, you know, then you prosecute him, you nail him, you fuck him, because he's, he's the one breaking the rules, all right? I, I'm not the one required to live in a, um, you know, a bunker somewhere, to keep all my information in a bunker somewhere. That's not my obligation. Your obligation is not to screw with that information. You know, that's simple. Um, you know, it's just such a stupid argument. Uh, then you commented on the atheistic religion, and, you know, we also got that other guy, Saturn Films, or whatever the hell he is. Um, kind of funny, you know, I've, I've been sub to him since, you know, the early days, we, we, you know, I don't know, he came on shortly before me, I guess, or something, but whatever. And, I, I, you know, it's one of those subs where you're saying, eh, eh, you know, because all he is is, you know, it's just this foul mouth crap, all, you know, and so I'm saying, yeah, all right, well, he's a little intelligent, he says some interesting things now and then, but there's so much crap tied to it, you're just like, oh, man, you know, is it really worth it? And so, yeah, his latest video was just spectacular. I mean, it was just, you know. And he even mentioned Hard Drive, Fake Sagan, and The Amazing Atheist. You know, so I guess he's part of the club now, too, or he's hoping to be. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's this, this another one of these nihilists, another one of these fuck doing anything. Don't even try to do a fucking thing. And if you're going to try anything, do it all on your own. Build your own nuclear power plants, you know, build your own social infrastructure. I mean, it's just so stupid. And the whole thing of an atheist organization, I mean, what is the threat? What is the threat to you? How is this somehow an abomination, a threat to you? What? How? 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 How does it possibly harm you except that, oh yeah, well maybe they'll get more attention than you? Is that it? That you, you like being... If all the other atheists are all independent, then you can be the bigger fish, you see? But if they group together, uh-oh, that might become a dominant force. And then you'll have a smaller voice then. Because, you, you know, your antics won't be interesting enough anymore. Because people will actually have something serious and productive to co con contribute to. And so they won't be wasting their time on entertainment. They'll be wasting, they'll be devoting their time to something that might actually accomplish something. And that's the threat, isn't it? Um, you know, for all of you clowns, fake Sagan, amazing atheist, you're all just egomaniacs. And it's all about your, your, again, YouTube's all about the entertainment. Yes, we're just entertainers. We're just wasting our time entertaining people with opinions. Get fucking real. Entertaining opinions? Some asshole on a video talking is entertainment? 
man, are you people desperate. I mean, I thought cable TV was bad, but man, if I want to tune into YouTube to get entertained by people talking to a fucking camera, shit. No, I hope there's people out there trying to do a little bit more than that, and there are people, <laughs> you know. Uh, well, anyway, um, you know, the whole thing with the atheist organization, what's the difference? I mean, we can have 400 atheist organizations if we want to. You know, you can find one that fits your mold. You can find one that's, you know, you can find the scumbag atheist organization. You can build that, and you can be all full of scumbag nihilist people. And you can do, you know, you do absolutely nothing. You just sit there and swear a lot, and that'll be your accomplishment. And then there'll be some other atheists that have a more sophisticated approach, and maybe there'll be a group of really intellectual atheists. And what is the harm in that? What is the harm in organizing... I mean, we do have something in common, and we have, generally speaking, a, a very um, pronounced support for certain political points of view, you know, freedom, rights, um, respect for individuality, all those things. And you're afraid of some gray shirt, some, some monster organization that's going to go out there and might actually accomplish something in terms of creating rights for people, and that's a threat to you? Uh, whatever. I mean, Jesus Christ. Well, anyway, so I'm finally, you know, that's a, a you know, I unsubbed there because that was the, you know, I finally, I knew there was something he didn't like about that guy, and yeah, he, you know, he he verified the intuitive intuition. Um, okay, and, and then okay, we're back to hard drive again. See, I'll mix the drama with the other drama. Um, you know. He, he tells me he'll take down the videos, you see, and then we'll, everything will be fine. You know, we'll just ignore the fact that they were all viewed already, and that they're not getting viewed anymore anyway. Who's going, oh, what, two views a day? They've already been viewed, you butthole. You know, taking them down, what has that fucking accomplished? They've already been viewed. Jesus Christ, I mean, it's just like, what, you know, recycled toilet paper? So, what did, I mean, the, the, I, the whole concept is imbecilic. How does, uh, how do you undo it? You can't undo it, asshole. Your comments have been heard. Your slanders have been heard. And they've created in the environment other assholes. You know, I never mentioned this guy, but I might as well give his name now because I did mention him in my letter. I mean, he has the name Explosives 101. And this is the, the moron posting my name in the comments. You know, and it's, you know, what a great feeling it is to sit there and say to yourself, oh yeah, I'm gonna report a guy called Explosives 101 to YouTube. Ugh, you're like, yeah, is that a good idea? You know, even his name is a harassment, you know? I mean, they should have, it should be a terms of service violation just to have a name like Explosives 101. <laughs> like, why don't they let people have, like, can they have a name like, I'm going to kill you if you live on Orchard Street? Is that going to be a valid name? And your name is Jeff? I mean, what the hell is this shit? Explosives 101. Oh, you know, like, I need that. But whatever. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just so sad. Um, okay, and then the final argument of the, the brilliant hard drive. Yeah, he wants me to contact him. Like, yeah. You're right. I've been talking to you through 40 videos. What the fuck do I need to say? What do I, what do I need to say to you? I have nothing to say to you. You know? What, what am I going to say? You're fucking crazy? There's nothing to say. Uh, well, anyway. And so is, you know, the, the cliche accusation that I have. I have, doc, you know, doc dropped on myself. Well, no, I, I've made no YouTube video where my name, address, and phone number is included. Uh, you know, I haven't done any such thing. And uh, the fact that people can, by doing a little bit of research, find out who I am is, has, is not an excuse for you making it easier, asshole. Or encouraging people to do it, which you do by doing it. As soon as you start down that road, you get people all interested. Oh, what else are we going to find out about him? Ooh, you know, he came from Germany, didn't he, originally? You know, wasn't his father a Nazi? I mean, it'd be some kind of bullshit, you know. It always comes out, always some kind of bullshit. People just keep chasing that, that tiger. You know, let's find more, let's find more, let's find more. Yeah, yeah, such bullshit. Okay, and the last thing, uh, you know, running out of time, so I'll go a little over. Uh, Tommy from the Bronx giving me legal advice. I mean, that was pretty incredible, wasn't it? I don't know if you saw that. It, it really is brilliant. As you see, because if you sue for slander and you lose, you're automatically going to get reverse sued for slander. 
Uh, the, the little part you're missing there, Tommy, is that you'd have to be, the judge would have to find that you filed a frivolous claim. And that doesn't mean just a killing claim that loses. That means a, a claim that has absolutely no foundation, none, no foundation at all. That's the only way you could be in jeopardy, you idiot. And uh, you might be in jeopardy in an appeals court, but that's a whole different standard, okay? The first court, no, there's no jeopardy for filing a legitimate claim, jackass.